Hello you guys, it's Ellie here, your resident business virtual assistant from Pineapple VA Hub. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Finally, you guys. Finally, finally. So, um, yeah, it's been a while, you guys. So, I'm really sorry about that. I'm, I've been so busy this past couple of months. So, uh, I know that I haven't been answering your questions in the comment section. Uh, for quite some time so for today's video i am going to um pick all of those un unanswered questions from my um comment section and we're gonna answer it one by one randomly so um i think most of these questions are related to um, applying to pineapple and i think some of the questions are um well, some of them may pertain to um, if you're already a BVA. So, um, I have, I think, a total of 13 questions. So, I, I'm going to answer it one by one. And so, let's begin. Um, let's take a question here. So, question number one from user Filipino Success. So, the question is, Hello, I am about to apply to Pineapple Staffing only to realize the application from itself has multiple assessments. Um, now, can I do each on different dates or is it necessary to do it all at once? Thank you in advance and answer more and thank you for sharing. So, uh, first of all, let me correct you on that. Um, pineapple staffing is no longer called pineapple staffing. So, if you've seen a couple of my um, very recent videos, like a couple of months ago, I'm not sure if it's um, if that's so recent anymore. So, um, they rebranded into pineapple, just pineapple, like the word pineapple, or pineapple VA hub. So you have the speed test for uh, typing and then the online English assessment, the critical thinking assessment, and oh, internet speed. <laughs> so yeah, um, all of these assessments needs to be uploaded um, the same date that you're going to send your application. But you don't need to worry because um, um, like the typing test, you can practice like for how many hours and then if you get 50 words per minute or above, you can use that result and upload it on the application. Well, as for English assessment, it's actually just very easy, you guys. Um, and then the critical thinking assessment test is also very easy so you can all do um, all of the assessments the same day as you're going to send the application well thank you filipino success for your question i hope i've answered it um next question so um the user is adramalek um did i say that correctly adramalek so, um, question is, Hi, super interested ako dito sa pineapple. May choice ka po ba na if gusto mo ng 40 hours per week full-time, yun din ang makuha mo ng client. Or no choice kung anong available na client and um, kung anong oras ang i-require nila sa'yo like sa umpisa 20 hours ka lang muna. Um, gusto ko lang po malaman kung Gusto mo ng 40 hour job per week, yun din ang makukuha mo po sa pineapple. Thank you so much. So, yep, uh, to answer all of your questions, you before they even send your portfolio to um, clients, they're gonna ask you if you want a full time or a uh, part time client. So, um, between 30 hours to 40 hours per week, that's already considered full-time most of the new hires they get um client if they don't have any work um in the day but um we also have bbas and mvas that works in the day so usually they just ask for part-time clients so they will ask you if you want full-time 
for part-time. Then they're gonna send your portfolio accordingly. And if you started part-time naman, like you started 20 hours per week, well, after a few months, if you've already settled with your first client, the one with the 20 hours per week uh, workload, then you can ask for additional client. So um, I, th I think the maximum hours you can get per week still up until now i think it's 65 hours because um i work 65 hours per week and that's like total of 130 hours per cutoff so that is their maximum amount so yeah um i drive a leg i hope i've answered your question uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, um hello is it okay to use my high school diploma of course, um, you can use your high school diploma if you don't have any college diploma or if you don't have any transcript records um, from your college. So even if you use your high school diploma, the main thing that they're going to check from your application is your experience. So yep, you can use high school diploma. Um, our fourth question for today um, from Angel Moncal. Hello, are you still with Pineapple? If so, do you have PTO, NAPO, and HMO? So, yes, I am still with Pineapple for now. And, um, yes, we do have PTO and HMO, but it kind of gets tricky. So, for PTO, the client needs to initiate it. So, Pineapple doesn't offer PTO. If the client would say, you can take your day off, but you'll still be paid then you can send an email to the pineapple admin team that your client told you that you're going to take your day off but you'll still be paid so it should be client initiated it's forbidden for you to ask the client directly for a pdo so they should initiate the pdo and they should um, alert or send a message to the pineapple admin team before uh, you can be paid on a day off so um for pineapple there are a lot of criteria in order for you to um get qualified for an hmo and our hmo actually is it's called prepaid hmo so if you meet the criteria then you will be eligible for a 200 dollar voucher or reward i guess where you can use that to pay or to buy your prepaid hmo so um let me just check the qualification okay so um, according to the guidelines of pineapple in order for you to qualify for the 20 dollar um, prepaid hmo you need to have worked six months for one client you need to have an immediate power backup so if you have power stations then that is a power backup so and if you're using a computer like a desktop pc and you also have a laptop then you can say that your um, power backup is the laptop um, you also must have an immediate internet backup so if you have pocket wi-fi or home broadband then you can use that as your internet backup oh and the very important one the bva must pr have processed his or her BIR certificate of registration. So you must be registered in BIR in order for you to qualify. The last one is you must be currently connected to a client. So regardless, like for example, you have worked for a client for six months, but then the client ended service with you. So you need to have an active client that is six months or more. So it says here that if you met all of the requirements, then you can sign up for the $200 prepaid HMO. Um, next question um, from user Midnight Blossom 102 Hello Ellie, thank you for your videos. Ask Kola, after being hired by a client, do Pineapple Staffing? Pineapple VA Hub gives you another training for the particular tasks that the client is asking you to do. So, um, before you even get a client, there is a 12-day mandatory unpaid training from pineapple so when i started um even though that i finished the mandatory training from pineapple uh, i was still trained by the client herself 
So every company uses different um, tools, different platforms. So if they want you to use those tools and platforms, if they want you to do a specific task, then um, they should be the one to train you and it should already be paid. But if they ask you if you know this skill or if you are knowledgeable in using a specific tool because they do not know how and they want you guys to learn, um, then it's up to you to, to do the learning. Like you can learn it from YouTube videos or you can um, take trainings and seminars from outside Pineapple if you really want to learn. All I can say is that if you're going to learn a skill and knowledge, then it should really be up to you because that would be your puhunan kumbaga while working for a client. So you really need to learn a few specific things. Like for example, my first client was a property management um, company. I don't know about property management. I just researched about it. The client taught me about it, the tools that we use. We, we've been taught how to use it. So it really depends, you guys. Next question, all from the same person, Angela Moncao. How often do you take calls? Are you on calls most of the time on your shift? So um, I think this comment was directed to one of the tasks that I had, um, property management in particular. So um, before, when I started, I take calls on my whole shift, like eight hours. I somehow got promoted. Um, into doing you know back office tasks administrative tasks so I don't do calls anymore and for my other client which is web and graphic design and social media management I don't do calls for that user Ian Hyung said hi how long did it take before you get clients after the two-week training Paul so as for me actually before our training was just five days but now it's 12 days so um the training was monday to friday and i got hired friday like the day of the last day of our training so um thursday night i received a notification from the pineapple admin that uh, my very first client wanted to meet with me to you know to have the interview and come friday i received the email that the client wants me so I started Monday so I really didn't um, waited that long to get a client but it really depends on um, each person because my cousin waited for like one to two months so from Ikubo F2P tanong lang po usually po mga gano katagal bago sila mag respond sa application po online Nag send na po ako ng test result and lahat ng need dun sa application process and naka receive po ako ng email kinabukasan na na receive nila yung application ko. Around two days na rin po wala pang message after that response. Um, so sabihin po ba nila if hindi ako qualified or magbe message lang sila ulit if qualified for an interview ko. Salamat po. So, um, yeah, actually, right now we. I think the admin team is getting high volume of applications. So initially they will respond if they receive your application, but it takes like a week at most to for them to assess if you're qualified. And after that, they will um, set up a Skype interview with you. So yeah, it just takes, I think the application as of now takes about one to two weeks, give or take. But before, um, during my time back in 2020, I got hired almost immediately because um, wala pa masyadong nag -apply. Next question. From Bunny Bell. Can I ask po if it's night shift? Yes, it's night shift because our clients are based in the US. So it's either you will be working for a client that is on Eastern Time, Mountain Time, Central Time, Pacific Time. So there are four time zones in the US. Five if you will count the time zone in Hawaii, but yeah, um, it is night shift. Okay, um, there's another question from Ikubo F2P. Hi Paul, my chance po ba if zero experience sa BPO field? Fluent naman po sa English and my background po sa 
physical customer service plus of WC man po sa cruise ship. So, sanay naman po makipag-usap. So, um, it really depends because my cousin, um, as you have seen th the very longest video that we had, um, she is one of the, the BVAs that doesn't have a BPO experience but got hired. So, it really depends on how you did the initial interview. I think um, you can leverage being a seaman and OFW because if... So, if you didn't know, I'm also a seafarer. I work as a pastry cook. Um, in the cruise ship industry so yeah you can I, I was able to leverage my um, working experience in the cruise ship but as for me I did have a BPO experience in the past before I work in a cruise ship so that was a plus so next question is from Midnight Blossom 102 I have no experience but whatsoever so paano po bag my pinapagawa si client na di mo alam gawin. Paano po yun? Okay ba yung support system ng company? May matatanungan po ba kami doon? Kasi yun yung reason bakit ako nag-hesitate. Yes, we do have Microsoft Teams. Um, all BVA around the Philippines has Microsoft Teams. And we do have a group chat where uh, anyone can send questions. And if a BVA or any um, admin staff or um, trainer knows the answer to your question then they can just um, send a message directly to you or they can just comment on the question you posted in our group chat so yep um, the support system is very good actually okay oh two more questions so second to the last question is from um, Paul Zamora so hi Paul with regards to being an applicant for BVA does it require the applicant to have an experience in BPO or is it okay for first timers to apply with no work experience in BPO but has actual office work? So, um, yeah, like I said, um, BPO experience usually is a requirement, but some BVAs were able to leverage their office jobs in the Philippines and they got hired. You know, like my cousin, um, my cousin was a receptionist and she was an office assistant for a hospital here in the Philippines and she was able to get the job as a BVA even though that she doesn't have any experience in a BPO industry so it really depends on you on how you answer the questions from the initial interview and how you market yourself okay so the last question is how long for usually bago magkaroon ng client so um yep um I think this was already answered earlier so like I said um, it really depends on how marketable your portfolio is and if it is very marketable then a lot of clients will schedule an interview with you and then if you nail the interview then you'll get hired as soon as possible so it really depends on you. I think that's it you guys I have answered the questions that I have here if you have a question that wasn't answered in this video, then you can just comment down below and and maybe I'll do another FAQ videos or I'll just respond to your comment, but I'm not gonna promise that because I, I am so busy, you guys. So the reason why I've been so busy this past couple of months is a secret as of now, but I am going to announce it next month. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. It's the end of the video well thank you so much for watching up until the end of this video and if you have additional questions then you can put it on the comments down below once again my name is ellie your resident business virtual assistant from pineapple va hub bye